uh, cooking school right. to get folks in so we can share the gospel with them. Uh -huh. So I have that. I've okay. seen so many different, uh, so many different yeah, techniques. You guys are different from barbecue TV or whatever else on the web. I did one picture and y'all are different guys. Yeah. Uh, here's your thigh. Let's see. Most of them have already been. Okay. Now, are you going to do muffin pan? Nope. You're just going to do straight up like mm -hmm. what you got? Yep. Okay. When you pull your, your, your meat back like this, mm -hmm. you're going to take it completely off. Now, don't tear it. Cut it. Because you don't want to scratch your skin. Right. Because you know what happens there. Right. Those are some pretty thighs yeah. right there. They sure are. See what I'm doing is I'm trying to stay out of the edge of the meat so yeah. I don't score the meat itself. Uh -huh. What you do is you lay them down like this. Take the, take the, the chicken off completely, the skin off completely. Mm -hmm. Take your napkin, hold it down, scrape this thing to where you can almost see right here where you can almost see through it. Yep. Get all that collagen off of it. Mm -hmm. And it'll make your bite through so much more easier. Right. I don't have a big problem with it because of the way my cooker works. It, it creates more of a crisp heat in there. My skin almost always turns out. Well, I've, okay. I've seen some I've seen some teams that have had problems with bite through, mm -hmm. and um, I, I've actually done it because I cook all the time anyhow. I did yeah. it, I did it two or three different ways one day. Right. But I mean, you got to really scrape and get all the there's veins. A, there's a difference between bite through and crispy too. Yes. And so that's that's where I think the fine line comes in when you call it. You have to watch and make sure that. That's See a good what beauty right there. Got him straight there. Straighten them up here? I, I just leave them like that. Oh, you leave them like that? Yeah, I leave them like that. Then what I'll do is I'll take it like this. And then I'll get my seasonings down in the back and under the skin. And then I leave it laid down like that and I just roll it this way. Uh huh. And now that's the way I do it. And then I'll just fiddle, fiddle, paddle around until I get it to look right. But that'll be tomorrow. And that's yep. the way I do it. And I keep a nice tight thigh, and I'll send in this thigh just like that. Clean that up a little bit, and, you know. Well, I'll tell you something that I have seen people do on the back side here. If you're ha are you having skin draw problems? Mm -mm. Not having any skin draw problems? None at all. Some people uh, in the barbecue circuit will take a toothpick. Mm -hmm, but I've got, I don't even I don't even mess around with any of that stuff because you know what? It's splinters. You forget about it. You mark it. I mean, there's all kinds of things that, you know, can go wrong with bringing something into the play. I, I, I keep everything out. Now, this week's going to be interesting because I don't have garnish to deal with. My, I did Pig Jam in Plant City, and then I did Tiger Town last weekend. And both of those were KCBS, so I had to deal with the garnish and all that fun. But I've gotten better with that, making the putting greens and everything <clears> and getting them. Look at those are going to be some juice, my friend. Y'all should come back. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Come back Come back tomorrow and take a look at those, what they look like as a finished product. Okay. And y'all are welcome to come hang out with me. My buddy's coming to bring roasted corn. And uh, we'll take